WMAR 2 News is the voice for veterans in Maryland. And this morning we are sharing the unique perspective of a 101 year old gentleman. He's a World War II veteran. He's been a wealth of inspiration and really knowledge for not only young Marines, but even the retired ones too. WMAR 2 News' Abby Isaacs met up with him in Howard County. Abby, I can only imagine all the stories that he had to share with you about his time in the military. At almost 102 years old, it's amazing how vivid his memory still is about his experiences during World War II. We spent over two hours here talking about his life and experiences. We could have spent a lot longer, though, here at the Mission Barbecue in Ellicott City. But this location is special because it's partially the reason why he now travels across Maryland and D.C. speaking to Marines to inspire more dedicated service members. It was six years ago. Colonel Lou Schott was at a World War II veterans event here at the Mission Barbecue in Ellicott City when he met Lieutenant Colonel Ed Hall. They got to talking and realized they had the same positions to start off their careers. Slim odds that they would ever meet. They've become good friends and Hall now escorts the colonel to speaking events where he talks about his experiences in the deadliest amphibious battle in U.S. military history and his personal battles making the transition back to civilian life after the war. Looking back on his life, he also shares feelings of betrayal by the current divisive political climate. All we did then is we really blacked out. It's a, it's a waste. There are enemies, the Republicans, the Democrats, are like a, they're a war at each other rather than working together for the good of the country. He wants respect for the Constitution, which he and so many others have sacrificed to defend. Now, coming up tonight on WMAR 2 News at 6 o'clock, I'll share a lot more of his stories and experiences, including a dangerous but successful solo recon mission. We're live in Ellicott City. Abby Isaacs, WMAR 2 News. Great to hear from him, Abby. Thanks very much.